What are they doing with the baby? Thank you. I'm with that guy. What if Sagawa's memories reawaken? Like the fact that you're just racing a potential weirdo. Oh, uh, but great. The females are like, no. See, the specters totally did this. I don't know who to believe. Okay, fine. Say what you will. Let's say this is not the Sagawa we do. How the hell do you get out? Oh, she's about to release her. Oh, bye-bye, girl. <laughs> Look at the weird dog thing. Oh, she already released those peoples! We didn't even get a free world! What if this douchebag gets what he wanted? It's a Sagawa, whatever. What if he gets trapped inside stasis like he wanted? Being stuck between the past and the future and experiencing it all, you know, like he said he wanted. Jeez. How many days have they been living? Are they just gonna... Ah, really, they're gonna spend their real money and... Uh, they're gonna run out of foods and supplies eventually. They're going on a trip. <laughs> oh, look at... She's saying it's time for Grandpa to go back. Oh, look. She's taking the advice of Sagawa about working with her consciousness of figuring out a way to get out of stasis. And now the Grandpa's thinking about maybe he can do it. Yo, I was about to suggest that! I'm like, perfect! Why won't she send him away when he's sleeping? Oh, it's so sad, now she's really trapped here by herself. <laughs> she's like, I'm stealing, but she has no choice. <laughs> it makes me sad. She's gonna live like a thief. <laughs> She's a dark. Bounce a bear well. I like bats. Sixty-third day. Oh my god. I mean, this is uh, the definition of insanity. <laughs> and mind you, does that mean that the baby is growing, or does it stay the same? Oh. For a second there, I'm like, where did the baby go? <laughs> oh, look! He got teeth! He got a tooth! <laughs> oh? Is she gonna release the baby? Oh, I'm like, I'm trying to understand her. She's just gonna feed the baby. She released the baby! She's like, I'm tired of this crying! 138th day, oh my god. How has she not gone insane? <laughs> what do you do with your free time? You can't talk to anyone. It's... <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, she's never noticed a plane in the sky? <laughs> what is she drinking? <laughs> is she drunk? I should feel privileged. <laughs> she's a dark. <laughs> Oh. Uh. <laughs> um. This is terrifying. <laughs> oh, she's cutting her hair, and I really liked it. <laughs> oh, baby girl's getting naked. She got all dressed up. Where's she going? And what about this weird thing? 
楽しもう<笑><笑>気持ちが上がること This is even worse. This would be so frightening. You go to a crowd, but no one's in movement. So, cry it up. Oh, I, I love this. I love how she's like, no depressing. <laughs> no depressing thoughts. I can't even say it. No depressing thoughts. No depressing thoughts. No depressing thoughts. I can't say that. I can't say that back to back. That's what she's saying. No depressing thoughts. No depressing thoughts. <laughs> I'm trying to say. Whoa! That is new. What is that? What the fuck was that? I mean, there's gotta be rules. There's gotta be something that like extinguishes someone for staying in stasis for too long. I mean, at that point, you become something else? Oh, she's going into despair. Oh my god, baby girl, she's losing it. <gasps> oh! Oh! She almost became a herald. Wait. What is going on? Her body's being pulled? What is going on? Oh, that's it. She's gone. That's it. What is she going to? Oh. Isn't that how the show started? Huh? What is going on? Who the hell is this lady? She's the wife of the person who made the stone? What? All of this happened because uh, her husband made the stone? Good question. Where is her husband? Uh, he passed away. What? So she was born with a, a specter inside? And that's why she is immortal? Um, come play again when you feel like it? Alright, how are you gonna get her out of stasis? Um... What? She released it? She undid the spell? Time is flowing! Yo. I don't have my phone or money. <laughs> it's gonna be a long walk in those heels, baby girl. Oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Ah, she's hungry. Jeez, I can't really imagine how many miles she had to walk back. She made it. She's home. And look, Grandpa's sleeping. Wake up, motherfucker! She's home. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so we got after credits. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, that's Sagawa, whatever. The baby thing. He's grown up. Alright. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to feel about this show. I mean, it's been a long time coming. Uh, again, Coco was one of the first animes I started a long ass time ago, and I'm glad I came back to finish it. I wanted to follow this very young anime studio, Gino Studio. Uh, they've only done this show and another show called Golden Kumai, and fairly soon they're about to drop this anime called Pet. I wanted to check out their works. And now coming back to Coco Coco, um, yeah, it was a very fun show, very witty, um, almost brilliant, uh, extremely brilliant, because not, I don't think I've ever watched an, an anime, or a cartoon per se, where literally the entire series, ex like, expands one day, mind you, not even one day, one second, which is kind of bizarre, when you think about it, 
the whole time from episode one all the way to episode eight, uh, they literally spent their whole time in one second. So you gotta appreciate that. But there's a lot of downside to it, uh, because you figure like, like, you know, they were stuck in this time, this, uh, warp moment, right? And I wish there was a little bit more consequences. I wish there was more creatures or something that kind of like disturbed the fabric of reality or something. You know, you figured that something like stopping time and being able to mani- uh, manipulate things how, uh, however you feel like, right? And, and being able to steal and, I don't know, uh, look at naked women and stuff, right? Uh, I wish there was consequences for that. Like, think about it. If you were to kill someone who was frozen, you know, stalled in time, then there's rules for that, right? The herald, the monsters will come kill you, but then there was no rules for stealing or whatnot, right? So I wish there was more context to that because, like, in today's episode, it was kind of flat for the finale, for the big reveal. It just, ugh. I didn't feel the fear that we should have with Yuri being stuck here, and she spent, what, almost 200 days in stasis and alone and stuck in time, and we didn't really see her fall apart, even though I feel like the show was insinuating she was falling apart or falling into insanity. We just didn't see it, you know, and I don't know, I feel like the show was missing that big moment. I'll admit, it was a fun roller coaster ride. I liked the characters. I loved the energy. I think this is another anime show where I would love to see it be adapted. This could totally work as a live action uh, TV show or a movie. It actually has a lot of good threads and I wouldn't even mind seeing this again with like a different cast. So alright, that about wraps up my video for today. What are your thoughts on Coca Cool? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Discuss with me and others by leaving me any positive or negative feedback down in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching and farewell for now. Bye bye.